uh, dear learners, Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. Uh, again, represent, represent to you a new lesson, uh, it is very important for you. It is a serif to exclamatory sentence, it is changing sentence. If you are looking advanced lesson for changing sentence, this is the right place, this is the right content. So, let us get started. If you are new visitors to my channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell button to stay with us. So, let us get started. Assertive sentence, two exclamatory sentence. Uh, we are very familiar with assertive sentence, the sentence that is start with subject and the, that expresses general thinking, general idea, general knowledge. Suppose I go to school as usual sentence that we use in our practical life, it is assertive sentence. Most sentences are assertive sentence. In other cases, exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory sentence is a sentence that uh, expresses the grief, sorrows, sufferings, happiness, joys, surprise, other things. It is exclamatory sentence. By this content, uh, I hope you will be clear how to change sentence as a dip to exclamatory. Here I show just three rules. By three rules, we can learn as a dip to exclamatory changing transformation. However, uh, before going to change as a dip to exclamatory, we have to know the basic rules. Basic rules is uh, always shift B or main verb in the last of a sentence. We know exclamatory sentence. In exclamatory sentence, the verb will be sit in last position of sentence and subject will be sit in middle position. Then exclamatory sentence start with object. Sometimes it is start with subject, but when we take uh, what or how in exclamatory sentence, how or what takes object, then subject, then verb. So, any verb, you have to shift any verb, main verb or be verb, last of a sentence. Then another thing, omit adverb. In some cases, we find some adverb in assertive sentence. If we want to convert it into uh, exclamatory, we have to remove, we have to sweep, we have to omit adverb very extremely so awful or awfully this and many more adverb will be changed will be transformed last thing we have to remind uh, add what how alas hurrah would that if phi etc this word should be included before uh, exclamatory sentence so now we are going to rules first rules we know Assertive sentence included some uh, phrases, some clauses. For example, I wish, I hope, I desire. These three words, or if takes any synonym or similar phrases, it changes into if, would that, or could, had, etc. I wish, I hope, I desire changes. Then changing words will be if, would that, where, could, etc. For example, I wish I had been a bird. This sentence is assertive. When asked to change it into an exclamatory, you have to change I wish. It can be uh, in this way. If I had been a bird, it can be this way. If you want to convert it another rules, you can use had I been a bird. It also exclamatory sentence. Okay, then I fancy I or a child again. Here, I fancy should be 
omit and here we have to include would that or could that or if otherwise or where I a sile again. This rule also correct. Okay. There are another some words. Great. Second rule. When we find great in assertive sentence, we know great indicated the person, very indicated the things. When great expresses the person, we do not use, we do not change great. Great no change, but very turns into how and a very turns into what a or what an. For example, the sun shone very hotly over head, head, over head. So, if you, if you want to convert this sentence as a to exclamatory, how do you change? Firstly, you have to choose object here very hotly overhead, very hotly, very should be omit. This place you have to use how, then take object hotly, how hotly, then take subject the sun, then take verb shown, then you have to take our foot extension over head over head this sentence changed into exclamatory then another example a little learning is a very dangerous things here we find a very this is the rule a very should be omit here we should be include what a because when we find any article, we have to use what a, what a. Then we have to take object dangerous things, things. Then we take subject and verb, a little learning. Another example, you are a great fool. Before studying these rules I also mention great no change the word great never ever change sometimes it uh, changes but mostly it do not change so you are a great fool actually fool indicated the you person so here we omit just article then we take how or what a great, what a great, full, then we take subject and verb you are, you are. Last rule in rule 3 for changing assertive to exclamatory, some phrases, some clauses we find that have to change. It is joy, it changes into hurrah. Actually, joy indicate something happiness. So, uh, joy, it is joy, it is a matter of joy. Both are changed into hurrah, oh, ah, these words. Then it is sorrow or it is a matter of sorrow, it changes into alas or och. Both are expresses grief. It is a matter of wonder or it is a matter of surprised both are changed into wow then it is shameful or shocked both are changes and replaced for phi then finally it is expected or it is desired then we have to change these things for and replace oh that oh that in exclamatory sentence for example it is joy that you become developed nation so, it is joy that full phrase this close in different this dependent close should be omit then here we use joy 
joy changes into hurrah. Here we include hurrah or wo or oh, ah, these words. You become developed nation. Last example for assertive to exclamatory. It is a matter of shameful that this independent clause, this dependent clause, sorry, this dependent clause have to omit and we have to include shameful. The word shameful changes into phi. We have to use phi. Then you made same mistakes again. I hope this lesson, by this lesson, you make yourself clear how to change a to exclamatory. Thank you very much for watching my channel.